In this remote part of southeastern Turkey, ethnic Kurds are hopeful and happy. That's because they're finally returning to their villages after many years. They had left because of fighting between the PKK, an armed group pushing for Kurdish interests, and the Turkish military. Our village was destroyed in 1993 because of these clashes. We are really hopeful about this peace process. That's enough. We don't want anyone to die from now on. We are all brothers and are no different from each other. Jailed Kurdish leader Abdullah Ergalan called for a ceasefire in March. A month later, other Kurdish leaders gave a rare news conference, confirming their plans to withdraw from Turkey and head to Iraq starting from May 8. During this year's Kurdish New Year celebrations, people showed just how strongly they support these attempts for peace after nearly 30 years of conflict. We are so happy because of these developments. We have witnessed many bad things since 1993. Our children were arrested, some of them killed from 1993 to 2012 by Turkish soldiers and Kurdish rebels. We don't want to see the same suffering from now on. There are, however, a number of outstanding issues. The PKK fighters have dropped demands for an autonomous region, but they still want their leader, Erdogan, to be set free from prison. But Turkey, as well as the EU and NATO, consider PKK a terrorist group, and they want the fighters disarmed before they leave the area. The withdrawal process is a very important step and it's been carried out in quite a wholesome fashion. However, we should state that the withdrawal process is not the primary objective. The primary objective is to have the PKK disarmed and disbanded. But for now, Kurdish villages in Turkey are starting to come to life again. As people start to build for the future after so many years on hold. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.